I hope you can see my screen. So first of all, thanks to all of you for uh, joining this live. And uh, like I mentioned, um, the today's agenda will be like, um, what are the two different ways of SAP learning, any module. Here, I'm not pointing out about the specific module. It's a completely generic uh, suggestion I wanted to share with all of you that you can plan based on your availability and based on your uh, strength and based on your planning, you can take it. And when it comes to uh, if it is SAP MM or WM, or the content wise we have, so we, you can send an email to me. And um, if you are mentors wise also like MM, WM, and certain EWM. So we have our, uh, the old student who already got the six years, seven years, eight years of experience so that I can refer to someone from these areas. And the remaining, you can generally check it. But here I want to give that two different ways of um, learning and you can choose that which is the best method for you whether you are a fresher or whether you're already having five years of six years of experience and you wanted to learn a new module and this will be applicable for everyone okay so i hope all of you are able to see my screen and uh, let me also check that uh, screen everything If you have any questions, you can give a comment. Uh, so I will try to answer that one. And, uh, yeah, I hope I, all of you are able to see, and I also can see. If you have any questions, you can give a comment. Uh, so I will try to answer. Thanks, the feather, and thanks. Uh, Raghavendra, thanks to all of you. And uh, let's start that uh, agenda. So mentor-based learning with self-learning content. So what is this mentor-based uh, learning? For example, if you see that uh, my point, like you wanted to learn SAP MM, let's take an example. And SAP MM, and you can take the content from me, the complete content. And you can have a mentor, either your friend already working or your relative is already working. Or if you don't know anyone, I can also refer uh, for MMWM, like I mentioned earlier. So get a mentor and um, take the complete content and plan. Okay. So here, uh, for example, the complete content, let's take it 80 hours of 80 hours, eight zero. And uh, you can talk to the mentor. And this is my experience. This is what I know. And I, I don't know anything about SAP. Or I know SAP. I was working in a different SAP basis or something. I want to move to functional. Or I, I was working in Oracle or some other ERP, and I want to learn SAP. Or you work uh, working in a SAP end user, and you wanted to learn SAP consulting, and you want to move it. So these are different type of people we see as a learner or as a SAP job seekers. Everyone has their uh, different backgrounds. And it's like uh, if you get a disease, right, you cannot give the same treatment for everyone. So fresher, we need to do in a different way. Or if you're a domain experience in a different way, SAP end user with domain experience in a different way, and already working in SAP basis or some other, and you want to move to SAP, that's a different way. And you're already working in SAP MM for five years, and you want to learn EWM or Ariba. That's a different way. So everybody's base skills and uh, experience and their background based on that, we need to provide respect to suggestions. So here, what are the positives? So the best positive I always mentioned that will be like a quick learning. What is this quick learning? You got 80 hours of videos. Let's take it SAP MM and my 80 hours of videos with you, which are in sequence, organization structure, master data, purchasing, and uh, inventory management, invoice verification, special procurement, project learning, entry preparation. You have uh, some eight to 10 sec sections and total 80 hours of videos are available. So you talk to the mentor. Yes, currently I don't have a job or currently I have some enough time to learn. And every day I can give three hours of time or four hours of time. How to plan? Okay, this week, org structure and master data. And take the server 
and start practicing daily spend two hours with video and one one and a half hour with system put a target next uh, weekly you meet your men mentor what did you learn any questions you have any errors you have in your uh, demo system which you are practicing and fix that issues with your mentor one one and a half hour you can meet it and then next week second syllabus so you can complete every every week if you for example if you give two hours let's take five days 10 hours per week you are going to complete the course and also you have the best content with you because when you are choosing the content right whether it's sap mm wm ganesh padala or ewm someone else or Hana, or ariba if you are someone else okay you can choose that best content with you so you are learning the better examples and explanation and also the mentor he is going to guide you how to prepare and you are going to spend hardly two hours one hour per week so it will be quick learning and second will be best content in place like i mentioned that you have the best content you already inquired mm who is the best or uh, top three or top two whatever you are going to give this aggregation and take the content so good content is available which is in sequence and which is properly arranged and explanation is good with business examples not just sap so that is the benefit and less investment of course when, when you take the content uh, as a without person's involvement right the content will be available for a less price so that here you are going to get the content for the less price and the mentor also you are going to take 10 hours or 15 hours or six hours based on your requirement so you are going to pay only for the 10 hours or six hours or eight hours so because of this one you are going to get uh, less investment okay server and the content and the mentor 10 hours whatever the minimum amount is going to charge so investment is less quick learning you can complete the complete course in within two months or one and a half month or three two months mostly because you are going to aggressively you're spending and also the comfort another uh, best positive will be like um so like the planning of the preparation you can plan like this week i want to complete okay this week i have I'm busy so i will complete these topics or uh, next week i have a lot of free time so that i want to complete 15 hours of course so you can plan along with your mentor and uh, here the flexibility so today your office completed at 7 30 and uh, late today every day you used to come by 5 30 but 7 30 you came so that you wanted to uh, give less time or as tomorrow you have more time you can give it so the planning you can plan and a lot of flexibility will be there so these are all uh, kind of uh, the best uh, positives in mentor based learning and it's quick learning best content in place and less investment you are going to put the less budget for this and the planning of the preparation you both mentor and you can discuss and based on like i told you right i cannot give a generic one for everyone if fresher should need um, needs a separate kind of approach and uh, domain everybody needs a different kind of approach what are the negatives i cannot sell negatives pros and cons we call use the word what are the cons like uh, must be self-motivated here 80 hours target in front of you server you already took it uh, the demo server and the mentor is with you but you must be self-motivated to prepare so actually self-motivation is required any kind of a preparation but here you need more because to complete 80 hours of course or 100 hours of course you are interacting with the mentor for 15 hours or 10 hours so you need a lot of motivation to open laptop watch the video or practice learn write your own notes all these things should be done so you should be self mode more self-motivated than the second option which we are going to discuss in both the cases it be there here more self-motivation is required and need proper planning with the mentor that's what i told you right need proper planning okay this architecture master data can we complete for this week okay so uh how to approach the session whether you do you want a re-explanation or a fixing of the issue or any other examples you want to talk to the mentor based on the real time okay i learned like this in real time exactly do we really need to create like this only or these are the material number ranges are we going to maintain so these kind of uh, questions you can ask okay these are the first uh, mentor based learning with self learning content and suitable people for whom it is suitable working professionals full time working and they want to change their career 
are full time working they want to enhance their career and full time working as a sip consultant and they want to learn a new module for all these people with some experience all these people this method is the best method quick learning you can complete the course in 2 months even less than that a two and a half months course and um, even uh, like i mentioned that if you are going to give a long time you can quickly learn and the investment is very less the financially you don't have to spend too much for this and the content is available with you so night 10 o'clock you got interest to learn sit for 2 hours learn so any time you can learn based on your interest completely comfortable flexibility is too high okay so what is the second one so anyone have any questions about this first one before we go there i'm seeing your comments so that uh, we'll try to next 5 minutes we are going to spend time for the answering the questions in this minute any questions about this uh, mentor based learning like i mentioned that here i'm not talking about a specific module mm and w means i can do better uh, with respect to uh, referring a mentor or sharing the content and all if it is sd or fseo or you want to learn uh, success factors anything anything whatever you want to learn this suggestions and whatever i am explaining it will be applicable but as from where you want to take it and all that you can check it like uh, verifying the multiple sources based on the explanation or suggestions from your friends or relatives or mentor anyone that you can take a decision so what are the topics are the most important mnwm to know about rise fw if you check our uh, support course or even support related videos on uh, youtube and all so where we provided um, the different things like uh, smart forms or uh, reports uh, interfaces even idoc course is available so you can go to uh, uh, udemy and search as ganesh padala you can find lot of courses there and then you, uh, youtube also you can uh, go to youtube and uh, search as a uh, price of w by ganesh padala or interfaces by ganesh padala web logic by ganesh padala anyway any topic whatever you are going to learn keep the topic and keep by ganesh padala so that if there is a video if there is a content available any of these platforms you are going to get the link go to google and enter like that or go to youtube directly you can verify it okay. so this is the second option uh, which i was uh, going to explain uh, classroom one so for this one we are going to see like uh, what are the pros and cons when you want to learn with respect to class so when it comes to the class by class uh, learning like why i mentioned the online learning classes because that's the most thing we are currently happening right like when we are going for uh, learning online classes whether you can attend from anywhere and the trainer will teach you the topic by topic based on the defined uh, timeline so always like um, if you join for the classes and he's going to teach you and uh, the syllabus will be given well in advance whatever the module you are going to learn so in that way you can plan and uh, join the classes and learn from the respective trainer so let us see that um, what are the pros and cons for that okay. so when you go for class by class the regular classes that's a positive because uh, weekly two classes or three classes the trainer is going to train you and based on their work uh, they will plan and they can uh, give you that timings and you can go and join and someone uh, you may have one group and where they can you will get a trigger from the trainer we have a class today can you check this topics and all those things can happen okay so that's a positive and the doubts can be asked like you can ask after the class you can ask the doubt if you get anything during that class only you can ask your trainer that uh, i have these questions you can ask and if the training class is having 20 people 30 people you might not able uh, might not be asking for any questions and all but at least on that class what you questions you got it you can ask in the first option uh, the mentor sessions wise also you can hardly will have three people two people or five people in the mentor session classes so that you can ask freely whatever questions you are going to ask so here the doubts can be asked and maybe delay or distraction learning what is this delay for example the class may be 50 hours of for class so trainer sometimes he may be busy with his project or tra traveling on site or traveling to client place or um, sometimes he may be sick or sometimes you will be sick so these classes may be delayed or postponed 
so classes may go for four months or three and a half months or five months may every time it may not happen but many cases these kind of things also can happen so in this meantime you may distract for that one you plan to complete in three months or three and a half months but the course was prolonging for four plus months sorry the two and a half months you want to finish but it was taking four plus and still few more topics are left in this meantime you may be distracted and all you need to avoid that so if you choose this option but generally the delay will happen today your office extended till 8 p.m daily classes are 7 because you come to office by 5 30 always so that day you will be missing the class so next day you have to cop up so these kind of things also you need to manage and those kind of challenges will be available when you go with this option the quality of trainer yeah, the quality of trainer if you choose the content after watching uh, the videos or sample documents you choose the trainer and here you might not have the prayer thing only that half an hour or 20 minutes demo you are deciding so you have to well analyze and choose the trainer so the quality of trainer may or may not be good so you should be properly planned for that and budget of course compared to that mentor based sessions in this session you will have a high budget so three times it may be costlier than uh, what you are um, spending in the option one so these are the uh, multiple uh, things you need to consider for option one and option two and um, whether it is a mentor based sessions or class by class how you are going to learn that will be the so this is the mentor based i explained so if you want to learn any module you can pause this video and uh, differentiate between the two options and decide how to proceed if you want to learn mm or wm or uh, ewm and all you can send an email so that if i know any kind of a mentors i will definitely refer you and other things you can learn and learn it okay so this is about the uh, suggestions to all of you and first of all you should have intention to grow and change your career if you're working in a domain experience domain any small salary or financial challenges nobody is going to listen your problems okay and your resume also you cannot keep your problems right so you have to your problems may generate sympathy but not success you are the person who is going to change your career and give time and put your sincere efforts and change the way of life change the way of life of your parents your partner your family you can change if you are seeing the success you can change the surrounding people you can inspire and you can um, help people and uh, you can also uh, guide people if you get an opportunity you can guide any of your uh, close relative people or someone is coming for that and all and uh, i'm fortunate i'm blessed to inform that uh, i would have given suggestions to thousands of people on linkedin and youtube comments i don't even know their face and didn't even charge from anything from them choosing module or uh, choosing company when they get the offer letters there are a lot of things are uh, happen and uh, we did our best to uh, share my uh, knowledge and uh, share my skills and suggestions i hope this video has given you the insight if you have certain kind of uh, the similar kind of requirements you can put it as a youtube comment so that i will plan for the next live thanks to all the people who joined the live and i'm going to merge these two videos and share with you all thank you